Hey Capricorn, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope each and every one of you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what's going on. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates for you guys, please do give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You can also go to my Etsy shop. I have my personal readings there, my tarot, my oracle decks, my spiritual jewelry. Um, I'll be using the Teach Me Tarot deck today. This is also available on my Etsy shop. And also, I have my um, courses on Vimeo, y'all, okay? So if you ever have an interest in learning tarot, my Teach Me Tarot course, it goes along with this deck. So um, you get a promotion, you buy them together, okay? And you get um, a, a nice discount. And um, I also have my business course. So for any of you guys who are thinking about starting your YouTube tarot business, go ahead and check that course out. I share with you all the secrets, my tips, my strategies that have been proven successful, okay? So let's show right in Capricorn let's see what's going on with you guys in love okay let's see what's happening if this resonates for you guys do give me a like to comment and subscribe and send you all my love and my blessings thank you all all for your support all right let's see what's going on Capricorn Capricorn and each card has the uh, upright and reverse meanings on them for those of you guys who have not seen this deck yet. So it's a great deck to learn tarot. So we got the Hermit. You know, I just did some, I did, who did I do reading for? Cancer? They had the Hermit coming out in reverse. Um, there's someone here who is doing a lot of thinking, reflecting. This certainly could be Capricorn. There's a time of introspection, okay? You may be contemplating something here. You may be looking for the truth and you may be spending a lot of time alone in solitude. But this is a time of finding some kind of inner um, guidance, okay? Some answers going within, right? Maybe you guys are going through some kind of spiritual enlightenment here. And we have the four pentacles. I feel like this is someone here that you perhaps have been... You've been holding on to some kind of connection. Whoever this person is, I do feel like this is someone who's a little bit guarded, um, very greedy or selfish, holding back in some way, holding back emotionally, or this is someone who's kind of blocking some kind of communication. But this is typically someone who's kind of resisting. I'm getting a very guarded, resistant energy here. And we have the Eight of Swords. It's keeping you guys both feeling stuck, trapped. In fact, I think a lot of you guys, um, you're dealing with someone who's up in your head, who's up in their head. They could be overthinking. Um, you could be this way too as well, Capricorn. But there's some overthinking here, right? There's a lot of stress, mental turmoil, entrapment, um, and feeling stuck essentially, right? In this imprisonment energy, your your hands are tied, your eyes are blindfolded. I do feel like there's some so um, silencing going on, right? With, between you and this person where you're not talking. There's been no perhaps exchange in communication. And I'm getting a lot of you guys, Capricorn, you feel stuck you feel powerless you don't know what to do right now your person isn't budging but you're in hermit right you're, you're trying to find some answers here so in a recent past we have the four of swords someone could have definitely went silenced on you um definitely i'm getting the same energy for cancer it's so funny um the queen of swords and the four wands of earth something here fell apart it could be in a family situation i'm getting someone neglected the other person someone stopped reaching out and i do feel like this was a very strong connection at one point got the 11 11 card some of you guys you found out the truth about a situation could have been dealing with a queen of swords gemini libra aquarius some of you guys there was some really harsh communication in the past but it was very honest it was very truthful some of you guys, you had to find out something. Whatever you found out, I'm getting almost something fell apart in your person's silence. I'm getting they ran away. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting your person ran away. They didn't want to be accountable for something. You found out the truth and they kind of just like dipped. That's what I'm seeing. Or you're dealing with someone who just didn't want to deal with an issue head on. They kind of avoided the situation or avoiding you because they don't want to deal with it. Now, on your mind, I do feel Capricorn... 
you know, you're trying to make a decision. You got the two of wands in reverse. You're trying to make a decision. Which way do I go? How do I move forward? How do I get out of this? I do see you guys thinking about your future, stability, commitment. This could be a marriage. This could be a family situation. You're thinking about your home, your, found, your foundation that you're building, right? Um, because you guys are very committed. I do feel like you were very committed to this person. You could have been, again, in some kind of higher level commitment here with the Ten of Pentacles. What's in a foundation with... Uh, this person at Capricorn is dealing with. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands and the Page of Cups. So Capricorn is telling me that, you know, this is someone here who you definitely had some issues with commitment. Okay, this could have been um, someone who wasn't loyal or um, very shallow, very possessive. I'm getting, you know, just someone here who, who perhaps didn't offer much. Okay, and I do see with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it, it made something here be very unstable, okay? And this is someone I think that you had a falling out with. You guys may be in separation from, okay? That's your energy, Capricorn, but it could just be the energy of some kind of um, broken uh, foundation or damage here or separation here, okay? Now, on your person's mind is the Ace of Wands, so I do feel like they want some kind of new beginning, they may be coming up with some, an idea, some kind of inspiration on how to have this new uh, a spark, creative spark. Like they want to come in and kind of have this new opportunity with you, okay? They may want to take some kind of new initiative towards you or, um, you know, kind of like come up with the, with the spontaneous way of having this new beginning. I do feel like this is someone who has not given up. They are still willing to fight for something here. They're persevering. This is someone who's very persistent. So even though they're wounded, we have the wounded warrior, right? They're fatigued, they're drained. They're trying to find the courage to come towards you, okay? So um, I do see someone wanting to come with an apology, the Page of Cups. Typically, this is a, a love offer or a proposal. It could be small. It also could be just a text message saying, hey, I'm thinking of you. I care about you. I admire you. Um, you know, that kind of energy. They're dreaming about you. There's some kind of love message, and you may not expect it. But there's some apology I'm feeling because of a situation here that didn't happen or the way it happened, the way something fell apart. Um, they also could be apologizing for the way they kind of ghosted you, stopped communicating, right? Fell off the face of the earth. What's the outcome here? Seven of Cups with the Temperance card. Patience. So there's something here that a lot of you guys, there's still a lot of confusion regarding a situation here, okay? It's like, you know, you don't know where you stand. You don't know what this person's intentions. You don't know where things are going to go, right? What now? What do we do? A lot of you guys, you have no sense of direction with regard to this person. They created so many illusions. This is someone who may have been very indecisive, didn't know what they wanted, had many choices, had many opportunities. There's something here that Spirit is saying, Capricorn, you have to be patient, okay? It could be a Sagittarius that you're connecting with. Um, try to find your peace of mind. Be patient, okay? You may not have the answers right now. It will come to you. Right now, focus on having a harmonious, um, you know, bring harmony into your life, right? Having a harmonious relationship with yourself. So I do feel like that is um, what I'm seeing. Let's get some clarity, all right, let's get some clarity for my Capricorn out there. If you enjoyed this reading, please do give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. This is my Teach Me Tarot deck for y'all who are interested. It is on my Etsy shop for those of you guys who are interested. And it is available for immediate shipment in case you're interested in getting your copy right away, okay? All right, the Hermit, the Four of Pentacles. Someone was very guarded, closed off, but very much in their head about you. Um, we have the Hermit again, okay? Um, Virgo Energy overthinking right reflecting going with an introspection but there's some indecision here there's some kind of decision regarding how to move forward and someone is at a crossroads someone is a little bit confused not really sure how to move forward here um this could be your person in the past there was some really um truthful communication that could have came through could have caused an ending here with the four of wands in reverse nine of wands i'm getting a lot of you guys whatever happened i'm getting <laughs> You gave it your all. You put your best foot out there. A lot of you guys, you felt for this person. You felt for this connection. You felt for this commitment. But I do see the Ace of Pentacles in the verse. There's something here that it just didn't happen. There was an opportunity that, that should have came in. Or, you know, um, there was an expectation you guys would get to the next level, but it never happened. Three of Wands, I'm getting a lot of you guys, you've been waiting for this person to do better, waiting for them to take control, waiting for them to make a decision, right? And you, you've 
you know, you're at a point where I'm getting a lot of you guys, you were fighting to the very end, but now you're looking at the situation as not moving forward. The two of wands in verse, a lot of you guys, you're giving up on a situation and just focusing on your ten of pentacles, whatever that may be like, you know, your business, your, your home, your commitment. I do feel like you guys do strive to get on the same page with this person, um, even after the ten of swords, some kind of betrayal, some kind of ending that could have happened very, very suddenly, very, very drastically. There's an ending of some sort. We got two tens here right um some of you guys it was a betrayal or ending regarding a third party that could have been why you guys felt betrayed with the ten of swords someone was very indecisive two of wands came out twice they didn't know what they wanted there was some third party energy here now in the foundation we have the queen of pentacles what's this about in reverse yeah, I'm getting a lot of you guys, your person's realizing that they were not really committed, right? They didn't give you the commitment that you were looking for. I do feel, um, Capricorn, you expected a lot more and you didn't get it. You didn't get it with regard to this person because the Eight of Pentacles came out the verse. This is someone here who was not really putting in their time, their energy and efforts into you, into the connection. And this is someone who's now feeling burdened by it. The Ten of Wands, they're feeling burdened by some kind of ending or their lack of contribution to this connection. So we now see them coming in with an idea, a creative spark to have this new passionate beginning, new start. Knight of Swords is here. This is someone who wants to come rushing in very impulsively. They have a lot to say. Let's talk about it, Capricorn. This is someone who wants to come rushing in. They have something on their mind. Give me some clarity on what they want to tell Capricorn. Ooh, there you go. Um, they want some change. They want to transform this connection, Capricorn. That's your energy, the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as very stable, grounded. They see you as someone they can have a future with. They see stability, see something long-term. And they see you as offering them an opportunity that they want. So this is someone who wants to change their ways. They may want to change the way they approach you. They may want to change um, the way they communicate with you and have this new beginning because ultimately we have someone here the nine of wands they're not going to give up okay without a fight this is someone who's like you know what we've had a lot of setbacks right <laughs> there's been a lot of ups and downs but i'm not going to lose this fight because i know that capricorn um is my person i know that there's a lot of stability with capricorn so there's someone who may want to apologize to you ace of swords came out um, they may want to tell you the truth, give you some more clarity and speak, um, speak very honestly about a situation where they could have caused a lot of conflict. The five of wands is here. Some of you guys, they were, um, having an internal struggle or battle with this connection. And now they want to tell you the truth, why that was. There's some kind of clarity. Okay, coming toward you. Um, the Seven of Cups here, Capricorn is telling me a lot of you guys are still in a place of confusion because this person was confused, really, right? They had no sense of direction, didn't know what the hell they wanted, options. Um, yeah, I'm getting, you know, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups. Some of you guys, you question if this person even loved you, if they really cared, um, if their feelings were really in it, okay? Because I do feel like this person was very unsure um, about what they wanted. Again, you know, some of you guys are coming down with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But the Seven of Cups, I do feel some of you guys they had their options um open okay you know they could have been dealing with other people and you guys are very confused about their true feelings the temperance is telling me there's some kind of patience here you may need there's some kind of decision being made okay give me a clarity on this decision what's this judgment about wow temperance came out again <laughs> spirit i love it when you do that um we got the temperance with the judgment and then the temperance again with the moon all these major arcanas there's something here going on capricorn you're gonna find out it's telling me you just gotta be patient okay in fact you gotta be patient twice because we got the temperance twice so it's telling me a lot of you guys capricorn you may feel you have all the answers but you don't because the moon is here there's something you do not know right now capricorn so if you're trying to make a decision don't be so quick on making that decision, okay, regarding this person, because there's something here that has not been clear to you. There's something here that is still up in the air. You don't know. It's, it's hidden from you with the moon card. It could be a secret. It's just something here that has not yet revealed itself. So wait on it, okay? Don't rush it. Temperance is do things in moderation, okay? Um, you may have to, yeah. You may have to find some um, peace of mind or balance before you make a decision because some of you guys, you have not gotten all the details is what it's telling me, okay? So Capricorn, <laughs> 
that is your reading. Um, take it how it resonates. I almost feel like this decision is regarding this person. Is it safe for me to love them? Can I allow them to come back? The Knight of Cups, the King of Cups in verse. Some of you guys are on the fence about it. Some of you guys are really on the fence thinking that, you know what, I shouldn't let this person in. They're bad. They hurt me. Um, give me some more clarity on the judgment. I need, I need to find out what this decision is all about. What is this decision that you think Capricorn should be more patient about and hold off on? Yup, that's what it's about. A lot of you guys, um, we have the Queen of Cups in versus Seven of Wands in versus the Knight of Wands in verse. Some of you guys, you're unsure if you should move forward with this person. Some of you guys, you think that they're just, you know, all about the passion, all about the sex, you know. Um, but you want love. And that's why the Queen of Cups is coming out in verse. A lot of you guys are questioning if this person really loved you. Because I get it. I get it. Capricorn, you love them and you gave them your heart. You were vulnerable. You were open. You were ready to love. And a lot of you guys, you put up blocks here with the Seven of Wands. You had the block them out you had to protect yourself and a lot of you guys with the judgment you're having to make a decision now maybe to revisit a situation here with regard to this person they're coming to you with an apology right a lot of you guys are like well i don't know if i can accept their apology some of you guys are saying don't make any final decisions just yet wait till something is revealed some of you guys whatever is being hidden from you it may help you make this decision regarding this person because you don't have all the answers or something you really do not know it has not shown itself yet Okay, so it could be a Cancer, it could be a Pisces, a Scorpio. We got strong Sagittarian energy. We got Scorpio again here. Um, it could be any sign, Virgo. Um, but that's what I have for you guys, uh, Capricorn. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Do give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. My Teach Me Tarot deck is on my Etsy shop for those of you guys are interested. And you guys have a great remainder of your week. All right, blessings.